Hi cunts, how the fuck are yous? It's Rory the motherfucking lion back for a brand new motherfucking video. I just want to say to all the people who have donated to my GoFundMe. Also just letting you know I have a GoFundMe, which is gofundme.com forward slash Rory's laptop. FYI, it's there. I'm putting it out there. You can uh, you can donate to it. What do you get out of it, Rory? Well, well, that's uh, th thanks for asking. You get uh, you get better animation from your lovable uh, neighborhood uh, cunt, and you also get to see what I look like. It's for paying customers only. For all the people who have donated money, then I wrote this song for you, and, and, and it took me a little while. And uh, from the bottom of my heart, this song goes out to all of cunts. Thank you for being a friend. Uh, travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You are a pal and a confidant. And if you threw a party, invited everyone you ever knew, you would see the biggest gift would be from me. And the card attached would say, thank you for being a cunt. I wrote that. Okay, roll it. Today's video was directed at me by Kind Heathen. Kind Heathen. He shared it to me on the old YouTubes and uh, let me know he did that via the Twitters. Definitely check out Kind Heathen. His stuff is, is pretty damn good. I've left his link down in the description, so definitely, definitely check it out. It's okay to be gay. Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. What the fuck? Why the... Why the fuck are kids queer? What are you doing to them? And fucking you catering for little fucking kids. I understand that people who are homosexual know from a very young age, but this is fucking ridiculous. Rory, Rory, people, people can't choose their sexuality. I understand that, but impressionable young minds, some kids may not actually be gay. And this, this is leading them to a conclusion they may not be. Not only that, you're fucking promoting feminism. Let's listen to the fucking dribble you're shitting out. I'm Lindsay and this is my best friend Teddy. Yeah, it is your best friend Teddy. She's been your best friend for a while, huh? She's put you in the friend zone, but she doesn't mind showing you her box every now and then. Nah, don't touch though. She's straight. She's straight. And today we're talking about feminism. Oh, please tell me this is not you singing. Oh god, that is just horrible. You have a horrible singing vo Fucking horrible singing voice. And this fucking stop animation must have set you back a couple of minutes. Fucking hell, it's dragging on. Let's brainwash all the children. Lindsay? Yes, Teddy? Why are you dressed up like that? Oh my god, that fucking thing is possessed. What the fuck? Somebody fucking call a fucking exorcist. What the fuck is going on here? I'm dressed- Oh man, that's special effects. One cut, the bear's fucking moving. The other cut, not so moving. I'm fucking seeing under your fucking shit there, man. Oh man, I fucking saw the wizard. It's like Rosie the Riveter, because we're talking about feminism. Well, that's some cunt we put on a poster. She, she's, she's the reason why butch dykes exist. Who's that? Well, Rosie isn't a specific person. She's a symbol or an icon. Something that represents a bigger idea. Of something that doesn't exist. So it could be anything from a children's nursery rhyme or story. Oh, it's Cinderella. <coughs> Cinderella. Rosie represents feminism. Okay, so what's feminism? I'm glad you asked. No one else is fucking asking. You're talking to your fucking self. Glad I asked. <laughs> oh, teddy bears. Kids like teddy bears. 
Do you remember when we talked about gender? Of course. Of course. Didn't understand it because I'm a fucking teddy bear. You dumb cunt. Well, here's the truth. Sometimes things are unfair. One of the biggest things that's unfair is that people are treated different than others. Because of their gender, girls are not always treated the same as boys. Which is completely false. Because there are some laws out there that make women equal. That's what we call equality. Our country was founded in 1776, but did you know that girls weren't allowed to vote for president until 1920? That's 150 years boys could vote. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do you, do you, do you want to go there? Do you want to fucking go there? You're spreading lies, motherfucker. You're spreading lies. Women were allowed to vote. Some men weren't allowed to vote. Do you want to tell them that? Land owners were the only ones allowed to vote in the majority of that time. So it wasn't as though women were held back. They weren't allowed to vote, along with a lot of fucking males. But no, that doesn't fit the story, so we won't fucking talk about that. Why weren't girls always allowed to vote? I don't know, Teddy. I don't know, because I, I haven't looked into it. I've just heard this from somebody else. I'm not going to look into it. This is a children's program and you'll believe anything I say. Ha ha ha. Candy is good. Ha 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 ha. Santa Claus is the devil. That's just the way it was. Girls weren't seen as equal to boys. Sometimes they still aren't. No. God damn. You need to fucking put an asterisk next to all this shit. You do know. You do know. You're making this so fucking simple, you're dumbing it down and leaving out fucking key points. Do you want to put a disclaimer at the end of what you just fucking said? Because in the third world, there is discrimination against women. Hands down, that is just the way it is. In the first world, where you are, that is not the story. That, that doesn't happen anymore. Because there's fucking laws that protect everyone. Men and women. Mainly women. That's where feminism comes from. Rosie the Riveter actually comes from a time when girls were finally allowed to have jobs that only boys had. You are a horrible, horrible human being. That's why she's so important. She sounds really cool. She is. She's not. And kids, don't listen to that fucking bear. That fucking bear is possessed. That bear is the fucking devil. Do not listen to that motherfucking bear. The only bear you should be listening to is this bear. And we are still trying to make sure girls are treated the same as boys today. By ripping down every man on earth. Ah, feminism. Now let's les out. Everybody, take your shirt off. Oh, oh, wait, except, except for you, Sandra. You keep your shirt on. Your nipples are too weird. Girls still aren't paid as much as boys for the same job. Eh, wrong. That is fucking completely wrong. It's not the same job. For hour for hour, they're getting hour for hour, job for job, fucking... If you put in comparison male to female doing the exact same fucking hours, the exact same fucking work, there is no discrimination happening. But you fucking dumb it all down. Woe is women. You're fucking bringing down every fucking woman that has made, m m pushed where they are today. Just fucking bring it all down. You're all fucking damsels in distress. Wow, that seems sort of unfair. Yes, it is. I'm a butch motherfucker. And I want to sit on my fat ass and have everything handed to me. Shit. I mean, yo child videos. Give me shit because I'm a woman. And I've been oppressed for so long. Shit. Give me a... Nah. Shit. There are so many hard-working females that do not care about what you're saying. They are true women. You are a piece of shit spreading lies about men and about your own fucking kind. You are segregating men from women. Gay people from straight people. We're all fucking people, motherfucker. It doesn't matter who you are. There are laws in place to make everyone equal. This shit, what you're fucking doing, is not leveling the playing field. You want special treatment because you're a woman. In my eyes, you're a piece of shit. You need to harden the fuck up and work hard. And that's why we need feminism and feminists. 
because feminism is the belief that boys and girls should be treated as equals. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's egalitarianism. And I've said this far too many fucking times. If you want the equality of both sexes, it's egalitarianism. If you think there is a clear difference between men and women as, as far as rights go, then you are adding to the problem. You're fueling the fucking problem. That's it. I'm out. If you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it around. If you want to see somebody else's take on this video, definitely visit Kind Heathen's channel. Uh, they've also done a reaction or a commentary on this video. Check it out. It's pretty fucking good. I'll leave the link in the description. Check it out. I'm also leaving the link to this video in the description as well. Check it out. If you're a queer kid, you're going to love it. Ha. Oh. If you're a feminist, you're going to love it as well. Ha. Oh. If you're a normal human being with common decency, you're going to fucking hate it. Shit. <coughs> okay. Hope you all are visiting Project Greener Grass channel. It showcases brand new YouTubers all around our community. If you like them, subscribe to them. You get a brand new one every single day. Uh, if you are a YouTube channel that is struggling or you are new, hit me up on the old twits and uh, I'll, I'll pop one of your videos onto that channel and hopefully your channel can grow. You'll, you'll get a, more of an audience and you get your word out there. Anyway. I will see us all fucking later. Uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Rory's Laptop. That's where you want to fucking go. All right, I'm out. Bye.